welcome back to Counter Keys Corner. Hope everybody's doing well. These videos that I put together, my video blog, and I try to do one every couple weeks, are the commitment that I've made to everyone that I know, all my past clients, anyone that uh, obviously we're working with to hopefully help now or in the future, uh, friends, family, colleagues, everybody, uh, is to share fiscal literacy, to, to share financial information, to share things that I come across that I think I can share to you as a neighbor would to give you a tip that would help you financially. Now, I'm not an emotional guy on these. Uh, I'm not going to be able to help you from an emotional standpoint, um, but I'm here to be your fiscal resource to help you from the financial side. So obviously, if it's anything to do with money, a uh, dollar sign in front of it or behind it or anywhere around it, that's what I'm here for. So when I have tips that I want to share with you um, that will help you, literally help you financially and put money in your pocket, um, I want to bring that to you. Well, today is the best example of it. And uh, this happened to me personally, and I want to make sure I share it with you. And most importantly, I want to make sure you share it with everybody else in your circle of influence. Make sure you uh, get this video off to them, forward to them, link to them. Um, that's what I'm here for. I'm committed to help everybody. I, you know, I've been doing this 21 years. As I told everyone, I'm not here to do your mortgage. I'm here to help you get into the right mortgage, but most importantly, then manage that mortgage holistically into your finances forever. We're here, you know, clients for life is the goal. Um, what I stumbled upon and what happened to me personally is that my mortgage that I have, I have a mortgage on a second home that has uh, less than 20% uh, equity in the house, so I have to have an escrow account. Uh, as you know, I am an advocate of if you're putting 20% down, uh, I do recommend that you do your taxes and insurance on your own, and this is the reason why, which I'll share with you. But if you don't have that luxury, if you're doing an FHA loan where they require an escrow or uh, you're doing a conventional loan with less than 20% down, you're going to be required to do an escrow like I was personally on this loan. And the challenge with that is that the bank is now controlling those payments and they do what's called an escrow review this time of year. And typically what the escrow review does is look at your past property taxes and past homeowners insurance that's been paid out. And if they've increased in value, then they're going to want to increase the amount, the amount that's given to them to cover those costs in your monthly payment. And that happened. But they pulled something that uh, I didn't like. In fact, I called right away and got it resolved. But I found out through that phone call, you can do the same thing. So if this happens to you, you need to do this. When my servicer reviewed my escrow account, they not only increased it because my property taxes and homeowner's insurance went up, they increased it, and I'll read it to you, they increased it for what they called a reserve requirement, okay? Been in this 21 years. The minute I saw that, I knew it didn't smell right. The reserve requirement is 16.6% .6 of the escrow. So they were going to jack my payment up an additional almost $200 a month just so that they had money in reserve, just in case. Um, I called it, called on it immediately when I saw it. Um, tried to keep myself calm because I, I really thought it was, um, it was a, is a, I don't know, a bad thing. <laughs> it was a, a blow to the chops. Uh, and um, the company that I won't name who it is, it's a, one of the big mortgage companies out there, has been in the press a lot lately. So now them collecting more of my money from me. Uh, and they, yeah, they did receive some of the bailout. Got me, you know, a little bit upset that they're now reaching into my pocket. But when I called and, co and confronted them on it, immediately, even before I can get the words out of my mouth, they said, oh, no, 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 we don't need to have it on there. So obviously what they're doing is putting it out to everybody, hoping people don't call so they collect more money. Now, by law, in a year or two, if there's too much money sitting in your escrow account, they've got to give that money back to you. So it's not money that will be lost. It's just that I've got to pay it out of my pocket. I have to push my budget up higher, just like you would have to do, and that money would be in their possession and not mine in case I ever needed it. And obviously, you wouldn't be gaining any interest sitting in their escrow account. So what you need to do is you need to be on the lookout this time of year for your escrow review analysis, where they're going to go through and review what they've paid out on your escrow if you have an escrow. Make sure that they're going to be collecting enough for future proposed property taxes and homeowner's insurance. But then they're going to, as we've seen here, maybe try to sneak in this reserve requirement. And if they do, you need to take the proactive approach to call them saying, no, I don't want any part of that. Release it immediately. And know that, and use me if you want, know that you can do that. 
And also, if you have any trouble on this, that's what we're here for. So uh, if you want to do a conference call to do that together, I have no problem to help you with that. Um, if you want me to um, personally talk to you about your situation and analyze it and see what can be done, no problem at all. Just get us a copy of your mortgage statement, escrow review, and we'll go through it. Um, we're here to help. We're here to manage this mortgage for life. And anything I can do to keep that payment lower for you, that's what we're here for. So watch out for your escrow analysis. Watch out for them to add this reserve requirement. Um, one final note that I want to make sure I leave with is that um, I'm still seeing a lot of people uh, with high interest rates. Uh, we just met with a couple on Monday who has an interest rate in the high sixes on a 30-year fixed. We're helping them refinance, and they're going to save probably about $15,000 a year in mortgage interest. $15,000 that they just haven't gotten around to. Um, procrastination is the thing that concerns me for everybody nowadays. So if you have an interest rate, I mean, these are historic levels of interest rates in the 4% level on a 30-year fix. You can even go into the threes on some of the adjustable rate mortgages. But I'm a little concerned about adjustable rates. Obviously, you've got inflation ahead. But if you knew you were not going to be in that home more than five or seven years, they, they do play a part. But most people are doing the 30-year fix, which are in the mid to high fours, if you don't pay anything. And again, we're a big believer of no lender fees. So in this example, this client's going to save a tremendous amount. There are still a lot of people out there. And trust me, mark my word, come back to this video when I did it. This is the lowest that you'll see interest rates in maybe the next 10, 15 years. Uh, this will be our opportunity to do what our parents did to us by bragging about how low rates were when they got their first mortgage. Obviously, this is the time, too, that you'll be looking up 10 or 15 years from now and won't believe how low they are right now. But it's not here to stay. I believe they're going to get this debt ceiling thing finished. I think the European crisis that's out there will get resolved, and interest rates are going higher. Mark my words. And you're just looking at a gift horse in the mouth by not taking advantage of these rates today. So if you've procrastinated on refinancing, you've got to take advantage now because mark my words, rates are going higher and it's going to happen any day now. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised you know, at any moment in time here. In fact, I'm shocked they're still this low. So spread this out to everybody about the reserve requirement. Make sure people are doing the right things with their escrow accounts. Um, obviously... Uh, contact us to do a free review of your mortgage to see if refinancing does take advantage. Obviously, we still got to watch the appraisal side of this. Appraisals is the fine line here um, to make sure equity is in the right position to take advantage of these low interest rates. And the final note is that I try to do these videos every couple of weeks, share some information, but I'm always posting valuable financial tips to help you understand this money thing better, to be able to improve your financial security. Uh, I post a lot of that stuff that I read because I try to read a lot and then post it. I post it on Facebook. So uh, I'm a big believer of that as a medium to spread information to friends and colleagues and clients. So if you're not a friend of mine yet on Facebook, uh, make sure you do so. Make sure you go over here to the tabs here and follow me on Facebook. And uh, you, not just the, you know, being Facebook, and yes, I put some personal stuff out there, but most importantly, sharing some of these financial tips that are there that you need to see in between these videos. Hope you enjoyed this Connor Keys Corner. Hope uh, you see the value in what I do here. I'm really committed to making sure we spread this information of fiscal literacy on both mortgages and investment advice to you on a regular basis so that you can do the right things with your money to get to financial security faster. Hope you're enjoying this summer. It's been a hot one. Talk to you soon.